Hey, welcome to the paddle channel. So stoked you guys are here. Rod and I've been paddling surf ski now for almost four years. Still eating lots of humble pie. All right, so started out in the Epic V10 first generation. Some of you will think that's not the boat to start in for a beginner, but it's what I could find, it's what I could afford. And I would argue that if you're willing to swim a lot, you can get better. But you gotta be able to remount your boat. And it's good to start on a day like this where it's not too, too rough. And this right here took a lot of practice. Being able to paddle as I'm getting my feet in the boat. That's a skill you wanna practice a lot. Much better. Um, of course, you're gonna practice that in the warm water. But the goal is to get in the ocean and uh, laughing at myself there pretty stoked this boat is the kaiva vega pro and it has helped me take my downwind paddling to the next level <laughs> still still falling out of the boat just know that that's part of it definitely part of going from a beginner to an intermediate and this was not that long ago so um, it still happens even though I'm a surf ski paddler now for almost four years you can see my leash is all tangled up at this point the wind and the waves are stretching that leash out um, I'm trying to get it untangled there laughing at myself so um, I finally get the paddle there you go try to get that sucker back the correct way blade edge down get that butt in the bucket paddle 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 as you get your feet in that is such an important skill can't stress that enough that's that skill practice it in the flat water and then um, you can see when I need to do stuff with the leash, I get at least one leg out of the boat for stability. And you'll see here in a second, um, there's no shame. Go ahead and put both legs out of the boat. But again, that skill is going to allow you to do some downwinding here. Super stoked. Lots of smiling going on. You can see I've got my leash on, I've got my PFD on, and um, one of the skills that I'm working on is not filling the bucket full of water like you just saw happen. Um, so with downwinding, yeah, that's gonna happen, but it also has a lot to do with the angle that I'm taking on that bump um, and stability. And to be able to get to this intermediate phase of downwinding. Rod and I have spent a lot of time in this kind of water and it might look a little flat to you but that kind of water is deceptive. It looks flat but there's a lot of movement and there's a lot of muscles that are being challenged and you are developing a lot of neuromuscular connections when you can balance and you can see I'm bracing there on the right side of my uh, boat that's a very important skill and you can see here I'm bracing again this time in the bumps so that is an important skill um, knowing where your paddle is so you can put it flat and brace on the on the bump there we go again
Yeah, you'd rather miss a stroke and have to brace than fall out, right? So bracing. I guess another way to put it is you always want some part of that blade touching the water. Um, here I go, remounting again in uh, the ocean. And you can see the stickers here on my boat. I did a lot of ding repair. My boat got blown into a tree one day when we were getting ready for a downwinder. And um, I did the repair myself. Um, it's definitely watertight. It's definitely light and it's strong. But cosmetically, I wanted some picture. Uh, excuse me, I wanted some stickers on that boat to make it look better. So there we go again. You got to paddle as you're getting your feet in, and don't be afraid to dangle both legs outside of the boat. So that's a big skill to take you to the next level. And um, we'll end here on a positive note. Catching a bump, nice, nice downwind, and. Um, yeah, these bumps were small, but man, I had a blast. That was so fun that day. Um, hey, good luck taking your paddling to the next level.